Salutations. Today's briefing, the Type 096 SSBN, China's future submarine-based nuclear deterrence. How big will it be? How many will be built? China's existing submarine-based nuclear deterrence consists of the Type 094 and 094 Alpha SSBNs. Now, these boats have two major deficiencies. They are noisy and the limited range of their submarine-launched ballistic missiles, with a caveat on this point, means that they would need to venture beyond the first island chain to target the east coast of the US, a risky proposition for a noisy boat. What does China want the Type 096 SSBN to do? Does the 096 need to be significantly larger than the current 094 to achieve this? This briefing will examine how big the Type 096 might be, how many might be built, and where they could be based. At some stage during the briefing, please hit the like button. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Also, hit the bell icon to be notified of future briefings. The PLA's existing SSBN force comprises the Type 094 and 094 Alpha, with the 094 entering service in 2007 and the improved 094 Alpha in 2011. A noticeable change to the 094 Alpha is the enlarged hump containing the ballistic missile tubes reminiscent of the Russian Deltas. The 094s are armed with 12 JL-2s, with the four Alphas are also able to launch the improved JL-2Cs and possibly the JL-3. China's submarine launch ballistic missiles have slowly been improving. The original JL-2 in the 094s has a range of less than 8,000 kilometers with a single warhead. The improved JL-2C operational in the 094 Alphas has a lighter body and improved fuel, can carry up to three multiple independently targeted reentry vehicles or MIRVs, and possibly has a range of up to 10,000 kilometers. The JL-3, which has been testified, possibly has a range approaching 12,000 kilometers. According to the commander of the US Pacific Fleet, the JL-3 has been fitted to the Type 094 Alphas. How does the 094 Alpha armed with the JL-2Cs measure up against other SSBNs. Well, Russia has the Buri class, with six operational and four building, possibly another four to be built in the future. These carry 16 ballistic missiles. The US has the Ohio class, with 14 operational as SSBNs and a further four converted to SSGNs. These have 24 tubes each, but only use 20 due to New START treaty limitations. Note its replacement, the Columbia class, will comprise 12 boats to replace the 14 Ohio's and will reduce the ballistic missiles carried from 20 to 16 per boat. However, these boats will have a greater displacement than the existing Ohio's. The Royal Navy has the Vanguard class, with four operational, ensuring one continuously on patrol. These carry 16 ballistic missiles. Note its replacement, the Dreadnought class, will reduce the ballistic missiles carried from 16 to 12 per boat, but the new Dreadnought class will have a greater displacement than the existing Vanguard class. France has the Le Triomphant class, with four operational, ensuring one continuously on patrol. These carry 16 ballistic missiles per boat. Given China's current capability, the Type 094 Alpha, and other leading SSBNs, what might we deduce about the Type 096? Firstly, let's look at the number of ballistic missiles and MIRVs carried. Future US and Royal Navy SSBNs will have a reduced number of ballistic missiles carried per boat to 16 and 12 respectively, but with a large number of MIRVs. But these replacement boats will be of greater displacement than the current boats. The Type 094 Alpha carries 12 ballistic missiles, possibly including the JL-3. If the JL-3 has a range of say 12,000 kilometers, even with a single warhead, then China's current submarine launch ballistic missile range issue will have been addressed. But would 12 ballistic missiles with single warheads satisfy the submarine launch deterrence requirement? If the JL-3 can reach 12,000 kilometers with say at least three MIRVs, then 12 ballistic missiles might be sufficient for the Type 096. Now this is the same number as on the, zero, the current 094 Alpha and on the future Dreadnought class. If the JL-3 can only reach 12,000 kilometres with a single warhead, 
then the 096 may need to carry more ballistic missiles to achieve the deterrence effect. Another important consideration in determining the size of the boat will be the space needed for noise dampening measures. Being quieter will be more important for the 096 than carrying an extra four or so ballistic missiles. So, it might be significantly bigger than the current 094 Alpha, but only carry the same number of ballistic missiles in order to reduce this noise signature. In addition, all other things being equal, a smaller boat may be more effective in shallow waters. So to summarize these SSBNs, the Russian Bulri class, six in service, four being built and potentially another four carrying 16 uh, ballistic missiles with a range of up to 10,000 kilometers. The US Ohio, 14 in the ballistic missile role, but being replaced by 12 Columbia class with 20 ballistic missiles, although the Columbias will have 16. The Royal Navy's Vanguard, four being replaced by four Dreadnought class, which will reduce to 12 ballistic missiles from the current 16 on the Vanguards. The French Litre Enfant class, again four, but with 16 tubes. And the current Chinese Type 094 Alpha, uh, with up to six in total uh, in service, with 12 ballistic missiles, with a range potentially of the JL2Cs of 10,000 kilometers. So where will the Type 096 SSBN operate? Even if it is significantly quieter than the 094, it will still be difficult for these boats to pass the first island chain with a high degree of confidence of not being detected. SSBN bastions close to the coast with the support of land-based air cover offer the highest level of survivability for the PLA submarine-based nuclear deterrence. A northern bastion comprising the Yellow Sea and Bohai Sea with SSBNs based out of Jiangge Zhuang uh, in Qingdao. The submarine launched ballistic missiles with a range of around 12,000 kilometers fired from the LOC could strike the east coast of the US. And a southern bastion, the South China Sea, with the SSBNs based out of Yulin in Sanya. Submarine launched ballistic missiles with a range of around 12,000 kilometers fired from the South China Sea could only strike the west coast of the US. It is possible the focus of this bastion would be India. In summary, it is likely the size of the Type 096 will primarily be determined by its survivability, rather than having a large number of ballistic missiles per boat. So it will likely be as large as it needs to be for it to be as quiet as possible, but with a minimum of 12 and most likely not exceeding 16 ballistic missiles. Also, given the relatively shallow waters these boats will operate in, a smaller boat might be more survivable. China's SSBNs are likely to remain in their current locations of Qingdao and Sanya, and in order to achieve the highest level of survivability, likely to operate in their respective bastions. Four boats per bastion, which would ensure one always on patrol as per the UK and French model, would indicate that the PLA will seek to build eight new SSBNs, or possibly 10 if five are required per each bastion and that these boats will possibly be built in two classes. Once the 096s become operational, older 094s may be converted into SSGNs in a similar concept to the US Ohio's. Finally, given the major work done at the Bohai shipyards to increase nuclear submarine production, it is likely the PLA will be able to field the first four type 096s in quick order. That concludes today's briefing. Thank you for watching. Happy to take suggestions for future briefings from subscribers, so please subscribe, like, and share. Until next time, Vale de Serre.